Hello, everybody. It's Cindy Novotny with Master Connection Associates. And today, I've got some tips for you on how to use Periscope. And I really think it's going to be a good idea for you just to take a minute and listen to some of the, the ideas that I have for you. So first and foremost, I did a Periscope on this just uh, about 15 minutes ago. But because there's so much chatter and conversation that goes on with the people that are following you, I thought what I would do is just, you know, give it to you straight and give it to you on a YouTube video. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you are absolutely putting yourself in a do not disturb mode. That means that you're going to want to, on an iPhone, swipe up on the from the bottom of your iPhone and click the moon. That little moon does do not disturb. Many of you might use that at night so you only get very important phone calls, different things like that. But if you're doing a periscope and, and you truly do not put the do not disturb on, then if the phone rings, your periscope freezes, and uh, that's not that great. The second thing is that you want to put something out on Twitter before your periscope. So tweet out to your followers something that says, hey, uh, just so you know, I'm going to put a periscope out today on our golf course. I'm going to put a periscope out on uh, some artwork that we have that we're showing in our gallery or in our hotel, or I'm going to put a periscope on this lovely rose garden, whatever it might be, or just some tips on your business, how to run an effective meeting, how to do things differently, how to be a phenomenal event planner, how to, how to book a wonderful wedding, how to have great flowers at your wedding, whatever it might be. That's very, very important. Number three, make sure that when you are using hashtags, you only use about two or three different hashtags. If you start using four, five, six, seven hashtags, it's the trending doesn't follow as much. And it starts to get kind of lost in the message. So obviously hashtags are all about what's trending. And if people want to look at what's trending, what's trending in artwork, what's trending in roses, what's trending in golf courses, and they're hitting what's trending on Twitter, you want to be able to, to come up and see that. The other thing is ask people to follow you. On Periscope, if you ask people to swipe and they swipe their name or swipe on the actual scope, you will be able to, to say, it'll say, share with your followers. Or you can go down to the bottom and you can swipe up and there's like a little upload. The same thing you do when you upload a video on, on Facebook. And you want to upload that and say, share with my followers. The other thing is lots of hearts. Ask for hearts. Ask for people to like you. Ask for people to send things to you. And really encourage the sharing of the love. That's the whole idea. But... The most important thing is have fun with this. This is live video feed. And if you're so hung up on making sure it looks like it's coming right out of a, a studio, then I guess we'll just go back to CBS and ABC and CNN and Fox. That's not what it's about, folks. It's about live people and live video and real chat and real kind of reality television today. So thanks a lot. And uh, follow me on Periscope. And don't forget, follow me on Twitter at CindyNovotny.com. And follow me uh, at MasterConnection.com, on Facebook, YouTube. Let's have fun with this. All right? Have a great day.